Hey guys, this is Zach. Hello and welcome to another video. So, as I'm sure most of you know, the other day we got a brand new update for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So, Respawn told us that the update gives us the ability to start a new game, plus there's a new sort of horde mode, but what they didn't tell us is that they've probably accidentally introduced the ability to fly. <laughs> Now. in the game and this is actually one of the cooler glitches that I've ever seen because it really allows you to explore the entire world of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order so let me show you guys how this works and it is very very simple this isn't Halo 2 super jumps or anything like that so for this glitch to work at least to my knowledge you need to have the pull ability the force pull ability and the double jump ability so it won't be available right at the beginning of a new game or a new game plus at least I think based on how the mechanics work I'm too lazy to sit through the cutscenes but all you do is jump use force pull and then jump again that's basically it it seems like for some reason a force pull which doesn't connect with an enemy resets your jump meter basically so as long as you do those two button combos you can jump for however long you want and you don't even have to be very precise with the force pull however you do seem to move a little bit faster if you jump then pull immediately so what I've been doing because to be honest it does get a little hard on your hands is putting my thumb on the force pull button on the controller and then my other thumb on jump and basically just mashing it and I'm pretty surprised actually these levels are really big and there's a lot of detail so you can use the power just practically to skip difficult parts of the terrain or you can explore for example the top of your ship but I really see this as being a way to skim past some of the more annoying parts of certain levels like you can move entirely across basically any level with without having to face any enemies or go through any puzzles. Now that might break the level progression so you might not be able to do certain things I'm not sure but if you really don't like platforming which I know is the case for a lot of people well there's another option here for you. I can also see it being pretty useful if you want to go and get certain chests that you didn't know how to reach or whatever else. But there's also another way to use this power and it's the more interesting one in my opinion just pure exploration. So the maps in Jedi Fallen Order are really 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 big it's not like some games where there's a small arena then basically a skybox surrounding you if you look at for example Dathomir you can travel very very far outside of the map and I personally wasn't even able to find the limit now if you're on a structure you're not ordinarily supposed to be on for example you probably won't be able to stand on it although there are some exceptions to that you have to remember that these were only meant to be looked at and not actually visited however what I found is that the map has a lot of detail that you you would never ordinarily see and everything is fully textured if you want to on Bogano for example visit that monster you can see far away he's actually fully modeled and rendered which I was surprised by but you can also just see the map from a different angle and I was impressed as I said how well things held up even being in places where you weren't supposed to be with this new ability I'm really wondering whether we can discover any secrets left in Jedi Fallen Order that we hadn't already I don't know if the maps had been fully extracted and explored otherwise but if not this will be a cool way to perhaps look for anything and if you find something cool make sure to let me know down in the comments I will say I was playing Dathomir just seeing how far I could go away from the landing pad and I was going for probably 10 minutes and still hadn't hit a wall with that being said I'm not going to talk too much more about this but I've included some footage of both Dathomir and Bogano I left the other ones for you to explore and let me know down in the comments where the first place you'll be going to try this out is Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, this has been Eckhart's Ladder. Let's roll some footage for you guys to see more of what's going on. But until next time, may the Force be with you. you.